In this video, we are going to make this 2D view of wire cutter, this plastic wire cutter in BricsCAD. So now let's get started. So here we'll start in the 2D workspace of BricsCAD and I'm going to start with line tool. So go to line and start with the 100 unit line. Now this will be the main geometry which we will use as a reference for all the other things. Now I'll go to line again and from here I'll make a line of length 5 unit and enter. Now we need to start a circle. So go to circle and right at this point, this end point, make a circle of radius 10, enter repeat this circle tool simply by pressing enter and now we need another circle of radius 7 unit there we are so we've got these two circles now we need a couple of offsets so let's go to offset now and add an offset distance of 5 unit and press enter now we need to offset this up as well as in the downward direction all right so the offsets are done now we need to add an arc right here so i'll go to arc tool and I'll select start end radius because we have a starting point, we have end point and we know the radius of this arc. So starting point, end point and the radius here is 8 units. So I'll type 8 and press enter. Now don't select this as the starting point and this as the end point else your arc will be made in this direction inside. That's something we don't want. That's the anti-clockwise direction. So always ensure that you start from here and end here. All right, so that's done. Now we need few more offsets. So let's go to offset again. And this time offset distance is 3. So with 3, I'll just click up and I'll click down. All right. Now we need another reference line. So let's go to line tool and use this point as a reference. And I just want a straight line right on top of this. So I'll go to this ortho mode. As we are just making horizontal and vertical line, I'll just select ortho mode so that we end up with only straight lines. And with that, let's make a line of length 6 unit. So I'll type 6, enter, and now I'll click all the way here, or maybe I'll just move it out like this. We can delete this tiny line, it's no longer needed, and now we need a bit of cleanup work here. So I'll go to trim right about here, and press enter, and trim this. We also need to trim this part of the drawing and this part of the drawing, and we can actually get rid of this construction geometry, it's no longer needed. Now we need a little bit of extend tool here as well, so let's now go to extend, Press enter and extend this all the way up to arc. Now we need again trim tool. So let's select trim, press enter. And now we can trim this, this and this part of the drawing. And we have got this plastic shape complete. Now once again, let's go to the blade part of this. And for that, once again, I'll make a construction geometry. So here I'll go to the center and I'll make a construction geometry of length 11.06 and press enter. So that's the length. Now we need a lot of offsets once again. So let's go to offset tool and the offset distance is one unit. So one up, one down. Let's press enter key again to repeat the offset tool and this time we'll change the offset distance and the offset distance now will be four. So four and we'll offset the same line above and below this. All right, so we've got it. Now we just need to once again make an arc. So I'll go to arc start end radius and this is the starting point this is the end point and the radius of this arc is 6 and enter and we need to extend this part further so let's just go to well extend tool press enter key and now extend this line and this line now you don't need to go to trim tool simply press and hold your shift key and now you will be able to trim it so it's true for trim tool as well so trim can be converted into extend and vice versa simply by pressing and holding the shift key so this is the cleanup work. Now we need to delete this line as well. And instead we'll make another construction geometry for the circular part here. So I'll go to line tool and here the distance is 6.62. So let's type it 6.62 enter. Now here we can make the circle. So let's go to circle and we'll make it of radius one unit and enter. So there we are, we've got the final geometry. Now we just need a bit of cleanup work. So I'll just delete this line and well these lines. So let's go to trim tool now, press enter and delete this, this, and this. And we've got the blade here. All right, so that's done. Now let's get to this part of the drawing. So we can delete this construction geometry as well. 
and here we need to start with a line so let's go to line tool and I'll simply click here and I'll make a line of length 13.29 now this will act as a reference line and now we need to make an angular line so of course we need to deactivate the ortho mode and I'll activate the polar tracking all right so with that we can now make the line so the first thing is angle we need an angle of 10 degrees so I'll press tab key to switch to this angle mode I'll type 10 and tab key again now this line is locked to an angle of 10 degrees and all we need to do is just click here so just beyond this circle or you can directly click on this circle as well if you want to so maybe I'll just click here and we've got this slant line now we can delete this overlapping line the construction geometry and we need a little bit of again cleanup work which we'll do in a moment but first let's add one more offset so I'll go to offset tool and I'll make an offset of 8 units so 8 enter and we need to offset this line so I'll click and click upwards all right so that's the offset now it's time to clean things up here so I'll go to trim tool and I'll press enter I'll trim this part of the drawing and this part we also don't need all these things these are no longer required so we'll just clean it up completely and we can also delete this so that's the slant line which we actually needed all right and now it's time to add that circular part here so I'll go to line tool and I'll click right about here and here we need an angle of 90 degrees exactly here so the line should be perpendicular and as you can see this is already perpendicular it's making 100 degrees with horizontal which means it is already perpendicular to this line that's what we need so that's 90 but we want 100 so that it remains perpendicular and with that I'll type 4 unit and press enter and that's the offset gap here now that we have the gap we can create that offset or we can make another line right here so let's do that maybe let's just make that line from this endpoint and as you know the angle here is also 10 degrees so I'll press tab key switch to angle make it 10 and now the length of this line is 16.56 so 16.56 and press enter there we are so we've got this now let's add a circle right about here on the midpoint like this and we've got the slot shape now we can delete this line and we can also trim this part of the drawing once again I'll go to line tool and from here I'll start another line now this angle is 47 degrees so let's just type 47 and tab key so that it switches to length and now the length is 12 and press enter so we have got this line now from here we need to join it with a spline so we need that other end point as well so let's now go to that so we've already got this line and now we'll start with the construction geometry so I'll go to line and right about here so as you know this is exactly along this line so right from here we need a line of length 31.49 but first I'll ensure that once again I'm in ortho mode to avoid any kind of issues here on this drawing so now I'm in ortho mode and I'll add the line of length 31.49 enter all right now we need to move down and that distance is 1.85 so 1.85 and enter now we need this slant line but for the slant line we actually don't need to add a line yet because we don't have the reference point so we'll do that later and I'll just delete this overlapping line for now and also I'll trim this line extra part of the line so trim enter and click here to delete it now here also we need a construction geometry right on top of this so let's go to line tool and from here I'm just going to make a line of length 14.38 again we have an overlapping line but that's fine now we'll add this second line and for that once again I'll activate polar tracking so that we can add this angle and the angle here is six degrees so let's just go to tab key and type six and now press tab key so that the angle is locked like this so with that locked all you need to do is just click randomly at some distance so we don't need to just extend it up to this line we can just click somewhere about here all right so we've got this now for the intersection point we'll once again create a construction geometry so I'll just click here and maybe I'll just click randomly here and now this length is what that matters so that length is 79.34 all right and we need this intersection point so right about here we have this intersection point we can actually delete this as well as this line these were just construction geometries and let's trim it again so trim and press enter trim this part of the drawing 
and we can also maybe trim this part of the drawing completely as it's no longer needed so i'll start trimming from here so that it's cleaned up properly and we can delete this drawing to this construction geometry so we have got this slant part of the line now that we have this we can join these two points the points here and here with a spline shape all right so that's done now let's talk about this part so here i'll go to line tool and from here i'm going to make another line after activating ortho mode and uh, this line will be of length 3.38 so 3.38 enter and just move it down now move it down all the way up to this point right about here but it looks like i ended up snapping to the midpoint that i should avoid so i'll just press ctrl z and i'll repeat it again so we have the geometry where we just need to start from here and add a line of length 3.38 and then we can just move it all the way down up to this so that it ends up as an intersection point right about here all right so that's done now it's time to add this main circle right about here so again we need some construction geometry so i'll go to line tool and i'll start from this end point right here and the length of this line should be well 37.33 units so 37.33 and enter now move it all the way up so that we get this intersection point and that's the point which we need but i'll just make it kind of like this all right so we've got this vertical line now we have the vertical line we can use this point as a reference to make the circle so i'll go to circle and right here i'll make a circle of radius 3 unit and enter all right so that's done now we can delete this construction geometry and any other geometry that we might have here we can just delete everything all right so we don't have anything that's great now let's make another line so from this point right here i'm going to make a line of length 1.16 so 1.16 and press enter and now we need another line right here now the angle which we need here is 175 degrees so i'll press tab key to switch to angle and 175 and tab key again all right so here we are now all we need is just this line just extend it way beyond this one that's all we need and with that we have finished this part all we need is a bit of cleanup work so i'll delete this and i'll go to trim tool press enter get rid of this as well as well this is no longer required we can then join it with these two and we also don't need this and this part of the drawing now go to line tool join this with this and we can delete this line as well so if there are any other construction geometries like maybe this one then you can delete that as well we now have a clean part of the drawing now we just need the smaller grooves here and for all those smaller grooves we need again some reference geometries so i'll go to line tool here and here i'll start making the reference geometry using this point and i'll just make it in horizontal direction now the very first length which we need here is five units so let's type five and enter all right so that's the five unit line then we need another line of length six unit from the previous point so six and enter all right done then we need another one at a distance of four enter then another one at a distance of three enter and then finally one more at a distance of three and enter so we now have several lines here and we just need to make circles right on top of those lines so i'll go to circle and only on end points i'm going to make the circle so here is the first end point and the radius here is 2 enter and press enter again and now look for the second point end point basically where this is the point so this radius is 1.5 enter now let's look at the third one which happens to be here and this is 1 all right enter again this one is 0 0.7 and then finally we have this end point where the radius is 0 0.5 so we've got all of these now all we need to do is just move it on this line and we'll do it simply by moving these grips so you can just move it directly like this we don't need any tool for this so simply select and move it on this line angular line and i'm moving it vertically downwards there we are now we can delete this construction geometry and actually all of these lines here we can just delete these lines and we can just clean it up so let's quickly do that as well so i'll go to trim enter and trim these circles and well these lines too all right now we need to make the blade here 
the actual blade the wire cutter and for that well we need a rectangle so let's make a rectangle and I'm going to make this rectangle quite randomly not on a specific location maybe outside here so that's the rectangle now the length of rectangle is 21.2 and the width is 4 and enter so we've got this blade right at the center of this blade we have a circle so let's go to circle and add it right here at the geometric center and the radius of that circle is 0 0.5 okay so we have done that as well now we just need to move it exactly where it belongs so right about here and again we need a construction geometry so go to line so here I'll click at the center of this circle and now we just need to make a line here of length 1.8 and enter now just go to this point right about here and this length is 15.07 and enter again so there we are we've got this now this will be the center of this circle as well so we'll just move this entire drawing now so select this move command select this entire drawing and now using this center I'll move it exactly here all right now we can delete these two construction geometries as well and we've got the blade right where it should be now we need to explore this drawing so let's go to explode and explode this rectangle and now we'll create offsets so let's go to offset and the offset distance here will be 0 0.2 now this line should be offset here and here and here as well so we've got three of these offsets now we also need an offset of 0.4 units so let's go to offset again I'll simply press enter to repeat the command and now offset distance is 0.4 and the offset from this line to this is 0.4 there we are we've got all the offsets now we need a bit of cleanup work so I'll go to trim tool enter and I'll trim these part of the drawings which are no longer required including this line right inside this and this extra extrusion we don't need it and we also don't need this extra line here now we are almost done we just need to add a couple of fillets and merge all of these gaps so let's go to fillet right here and the fillet radius is 0 0.2 so let's go to radius and this should be 0 0.2 and enter so this line and this line here we are press enter again to repeat it for this end point and actually I ended up adding fillet on the wrong well line so I'm just going to undo this and instead I'll add the fillets inside so I'll go to fillet and the radius is 0 0.2 enter and I'll add the fillet here first line second line press enter to repeat it first line second line done now in a similar way you can repeat the fillets for all these four vertices there we are now we also need fillet for these two so I'll go to fillet and this time I'll use a radius of zero unit so zero enter and with zero radius fillet it will basically merge it at one single point like this so here we are it's merged at a single point now finally let's join it here so I'll go to line tool and here we can simply join this endpoint with this and we can do the same for this side one endpoint with another one and the blade part is also finished now the drawing is almost finished we just need to add this part of the handle and this small feature right about here so again I'll go to line tool and I'll start with the construction geometry which is from here this endpoint now this length should be 9.5 and I'll ensure that ortho mode is checked for this example so 9.5 and enter now from here we need a height of 2.5 so 2.5 and enter and we've got this point which we need for this example now let's go to line tool again and from here make a straight line of length 19.5 all right and now we need another line so I'll deactivate ortho and activate polar and we just need it here at an angle of well not provided so we don't have that angle so instead we'll use the second line which is right here and the angle is 60 degrees so let's go to line tool and start here and the angle here should be 60 from this side so that makes it 120 on the anti-clockwise side so I'll just press tab key and change that angle to 120 tab key again and I'll simply eyeball it and click it maybe here on this line all right now we need an offset of this line here so let's go to offset and the distance is 3 and enter click and make an offset right about here 
all right we are almost done we just need to add another line here and this angle is 48 degrees so let's go to line so now i'll click here and i'll add the angle of 48 degrees so press tab key 48 tab key again and maybe just join it kind of like this randomly so we've got this drawing now let's just get rid of all these construction geometries and now all we need is a lot of fillets so let's go to fillet and with zero radius fillet we'll just add it right here and again i'll do that for this side zero radius and again i'll change the radius and this time the radius is one enter and that's going to be added right about here and another radius of two units so fill it and I'll change the radius this time to two enter and that should be added right here all right and we've got this internal feature as well finally we just need to add this using spline so I'll go to polyline tool right here and right inside this we have a spline select it and now we don't need any proper dimension for this you can simply make it as per your drawing so I'll just add a couple of points here and then I'll join it right here and press enter to finish this there we are we've got this handle and that's how you can create this wire cutter in BricsCAD